let us open our hearts to God waiting for the holy spirit to descend upon us there could be a lot of sadness in our hearts every painful experience say for example a failure in a project breakdown of a relationship a death of someone dear a misunderstanding every such painful experience remains in our heart as a sadness and this sadness is pushed down to the deeper and deeper recesses of our mind we often say time heals that's not true time does not heal any hurt all that time does to push such experiences to the deeper recesses of our mind this remain within us as painful memories all the time coming up coming up to disturb us to push us more into depression and sorrow our attitudes become melancholic unable to rejoice in anything in life we could have such experiences we loved people and we were rejected again and again we trusted people and they deceived us this could have happened many a time in the past we counted on people the people we counted on left us alone especially in the moments of our need because of all these painful memories there could be a lot of insecurity in our hearts we are not able to venture on anything new we go by a rut of living we are not able to trust anyone anymore even when we enter into our relationship we imagine that person would not love us even when he or she shows affection and love we doubt we suspect no wonder there's a lot of suspicion among husbands and wives only if i am able to accept the love of the other will i be able to respond to that love we suspect others unnecessarily and there's a pain of our heart we want the holy spirit to move all the sadness would slowly become anger anger against everyone and angry expressions come out of our heart in our behavior patterns anger insecurity sorrow a life becomes a sort of swinging from anger to grief from grief to hatred and behind it all there is a self pity that leads us to self contempt we want to give it all to jesus this morning every painful experience is not offered to the lord every painful experience in which we are not able to experience the movement of the holy spirit will remain as a painful memory 
as a hurt in our hearts. We want the Holy Spirit to move in the depth of our hearts. Let us sing together. Spirit move, opening our heart. Let us dare to open our hearts to the Lord. We are keeping a lot of secrets, painful secrets, hurting secrets, destructive secrets in our hearts. We want to open all these secrets to God for the Spirit of God to move in and to console us, to comfort us and make us whole. Let us sing together, Spirit Move. Spirit move in your temple. Spirit move in my life. Spirit move. I call you. Spirit move. name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Hallelujah. 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 Good morning to you. How many of you slept? How many of you slept deeper 
and more sound this night than in the previous nights at home could you please raise your hands up hallelujah 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 my dear brothers and sisters that means the holy spirit is moving hallelujah hallelujah only when there is peace in our hearts only then will you be able to sleep only when there is peace in my heart in my family only when there is security about the future will we be able to sleep and that's what jesus came for to give us peace you know when jesus was born in bethlehem god the father sent the angel from heaven to proclaim to the world the intention of the coming of jesus the angel came down and told the shepherds i bring you a good news a good news for all the peoples in the city of david a savior is born a savior is born then a host of angels flew down from heaven to sing together glory to god in the highest and peace on earth peace on earth to men and women of good will now that is the intention of the coming of jesus to give us peace to give us peace you know why wherever there is sin wherever there is discord wherever there is grief there's no peace and human kind was in deep trouble there's no peace and jesus came down being sent by the father to give us the heavenly peace the heavenly peace may descend upon us into our hearts into our families into our parishes into wherever we are working together and there may be joy there may be peace in us and around us let me ask you a question a question is god just is god just is god just is god just yes i don't think so i don't think so i don't think god is just you know why if god were just you and i we would have had no chance with god what does justice mean what does justice mean to give everyone his or her due that's what justice is to give everyone his or her due to give me what i deserve to give you what you deserve and if god gives us what we deserve we would have had no chance with him the wages of sin is death the wages of sin is death the word of god tells us if the wages of sin is death then why are you alive why am i alive if the wages of sin is death we should have been dead long ago we should have perished in our sin long ago in the punishment of sin if you and i are alive it is because god is not just god does not give us what we deserve god does not punish us for our sins and that means god is not just god is more than justice god is more than justice god is mercy what does mercy mean mercy is the denial of justice 
you and i we are not given what we deserve we are given more than what we deserve even when we are sinners as st john tells us 3:16 john 3:16 god so loved the world god so loved the world that he sent his own son into our midst for what that we may not perish in our sinfulness if god were just god would have sent down fire to burn us to destroy us he did not do that he sent his own son he plucked his son out of his heart and threw him into the cross and that's my punishment my brother my sister the your punishment the punishment for our sin that punishment that death the son of god took upon himself and in this st paul tells us st paul tells us romans chapter 5 in this god's love is revealed that when we were sinners when when we should have perished in our sin god chose god decided we should not perish in our sin the destruction that we deserve we should not be destroyed he sent his son to die that we may live forever shall we say hallelujah till all of us raise the hands and say hallelujah shall we say praise the lord hallelujah 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 and we should know this but you know what though god does not deal with us according to our sinfulness according to our unworthiness we want to deal with each other we want to deal with each other according as they deal with us we are very conscious of just we are very conscious of justice when someone is good to me i am good to her i am good to him when someone is not good to me when someone is not good to me i am not good to her i am not good to him he does not deserve a lot of people have told me this he does not deserve to be loved to be forgiven a lot of husbands have told me this not a wife have told me this not a parents have told me this my son does, does not deserve my love my daughter she ran away from the family out out she ran away with a young man and she's married in the church i'm angry with all the priests because that priest bless the marriage of my daughter with her my permission because my daughter ran away from home and the priest blessed the marriage and i am angry with all the priests the priests are not just god is not just but i am just more just than god hallelujah hallelujah i will not talk to my husband a uh, wonderful wife told me my husband committed a mistake the two of them came to my room the husband and wife in fact i called them to my room and they were a very known very known uh, family and the, their son came to me this the youngster Uh, 16 17 years old uh, he came and told me father in, in my family there's no peace no prayer there's no love no one really talks to anyone and the father and mother they don't talk to each other living under the same roof they are the father and mother he said father they are sleeping in two rooms they don't talk to each other it's a servant who cooks 
servant who gives food to the father the mother does not give food to the father there's no prayer no no prayer at all and the son very intelligent youngster he said father what am i to think of my future what am i to think of my future what am i to think of my marriage a family life i don't want a family i don't want a family like this i'm being scorched up in the heat of hatred and anger and indifference is a hell father i called i called the father and mother very known people i called them and i was talking to them the woman a very known lady in the parish an active social worker in the parish one of the parish uh, council members she told me father i i am a just woman i was i loved my husband as long as he was faithful to me but now i realized he made a mistake and that's it i can't love him anymore i can't go near him anymore i won't give him food anymore i won't talk to him he's a devil she asked me father does god love devil i won't have anything to do with him he in that room i in this room i spoke to them the husband the wife um she was talking about something that happened some 10 years ago and she's not sure about it um the people say and well she's all upset i told her my sister your husband may have made a mistake i don't know what mistake whatever mistake but but God wants you to love him to forgive him to accept him from the hands of God she was not ready at all she had all sorts of arguments very intelligent lady all sorts of arguments not to have anything to do with her husband finally i said my sister if you don't forgive your husband he will go to hell what else to say everything else i said did not work did not work so i thought i would i would in a very tense tone i would threaten her with hell i was all tense she was very cool she said to me father let me go to hell i will not talk to this man well justice you know the concept concept of justice we have the concept of justice we have more just than god and jesus came to the world to tell us god is not just as we think what justice is a new a new definition of justice the new definition of justice that jesus brought to the world was mercy be merciful as your heavenly father is merciful hallelujah hallelujah